Hello guys, it is Sound9 and today I have another easy solo pileup glitch on Black Ops Cold War Zombies on the Machina. This is a very easy glitch to do. First step is to get your guns ready. Now keep in mind when you're in this glitch, you will not be able to collect any power-ups. So what you want to bring if you want to do this and not jump out for ammo is you want to bring the shockwave wonder weapon and that's because you do have unlimited ammo with that wonder weapon and if you have that wonder weapon then you shouldn't have to leave because you have that unlimited ammo with that wonder weapon so once you're done getting set up and everything next step is to go to an anomaly so find one on the map as you can see i have one in the pond so you need to go into the anomaly once you're done going into that anomaly you guys want to go to the pack a punch room and you want to get there before you teleport back out of the anomaly so go to that room and you want to wait in that room until it starts to teleport you out of that anomaly once you start teleporting you want to quickly run to this railing and jump on top of this railing you want to definitely make sure that no zombies are after you so you don't mess up so definitely make sure to do this at the end of a round and just kill the last zombie once you're here but you want to jump right before you teleport and you want to jump to where i jump to so go ahead and do that and what will happen if you have timed it right you will see once you're done teleporting you're going to be on top of this and you do not want to move at this point you just want to look around and do not actually move left and right if you move left or right then you will fall out so like i said just look around do not do anything else. Now I'm gonna go through that one more time and I'm gonna show you guys how I get it every single time. So what I do is when I see myself start to teleport, like I said, I run to the railing and jump on it, make sure no zombies are around me. If there are, I kill them. And what I look for is my weapon and I just look at my weapon and as soon as I see my weapon start to go away from my screen, you will kind of see it. That is when you guys jump and you guys wanna go right ahead and do that at that point. And if you do that and do it when your weapon is going away from you, then you should get it every single time. That's what I do and I haven't missed it while doing it this way. So once you are up here, like I said, it do not move left or right, just look around. And if you have done everything right, the zombies should pile up right in front of you. And, and you guys can take him out, it's very good, you guys have a perfect shot for their head, and you guys can use this to get camels, but like I said, you cannot collect the power-ups, so if you do not have that shockwave, then you're gonna have to jump down eventually and get ammo, so just keep that in mind. Now, if you guys do have an anomaly very close to the Pack-a-Punch room, then you can do it in the beginning when you first teleport. So do the same thing that I did, but instead of doing it with the teleport after you teleport that first time, do it with the first one. And that only will work if it's close to this spot. If it is not and it's in pond, then you're going to have to do it when you leave the anomaly. So that is how you guys do this glitch. I went super in depth. If you guys are wondering what happens with the boss zombie, the boss zombie will literally just walk around and will not touch you whatsoever. So that's with the boss zombie. Now the zombies just can't get you. So you don't have to worry about the boss zombie or zombies. And if you're wondering about the dogs, the dogs can attack you here and there on dog rounds. Because as you can see in the background footage, they can jump and they can attack you, but it is not often whatsoever and you will be able to take them out and you will not have to worry about that. So just keep that in mind, but most of them should just pile up right in front of you anyways and you will be able to take them out before they even attempt to do that. So that's it for this glitch. This glitch is very, very overpowered and extremely good. Definitely make sure you guys take advantage of this glitch if you guys want to go for XP and all that stuff definitely take advantage of this one i should have another glitch out very very soon on another pile up so stay tuned for that but that's gonna be about it for this glitch hopefully you guys enjoy this glitch stay tuned for more because i do have more for you guys and there will be a ton of other glitches now if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe because i think like 80 percent of the people that watch me are not subscribed i'm gonna go ahead and put that in the beginning of every video pretty much now just because i want you guys to subscribe and everything because i want you guys to stay updated with the glitches so make sure you guys are subscribed you know so you guys can stay updated so that's it and now let's get right into your trick questions so the answer to the last trick question is going to be his horse name was friday 
good job thank you so much for participating it does mean a whole lot you guys have been awesome with the support lately and i do appreciate each and every single one of you guys you guys have been loving these trick questions and thank you to everyone that participates it doesn't mean a whole lot so now let's get right into the next trick question this next one is what has a face and two hands but no arms or legs answer down below and if you're the first person to get that right then a comment will be pinned and you will get a shout out next video please like comment and subscribe to become part of the ninja team today because in order to be a ninja you have to be silent and i'm called silent nine but anyways that's about it peace guys see you in the next video have a great day you guys are awesome peace